Coming off a 20-point loss to Rutgers on Tuesday night in Piscataway, New Jersey, head coach Micah Shrewsbury challenged his Nittany Lions. The Nittany Lions responded to that challenge when they returned home on Sunday to the Bryce Jordan Center for their annual Thon game. It's what families do. They, they get on each other, they challenge each other, they fight, they do what they need to do, um, but they're still family. They're still family, and there's nobody else that I'm rolling with but these guys. Shrewsbury rolled with new starters in Michael Henn and Caleb Dorsey, and those starters set the tone as Penn State rolled over Michigan. After the Wolverines went ahead 6-4 on a Jet Howard three-pointer, the Nittany Lions roared back, never looked back, and never gave the lead back. Jalen Pickett scored seven points in a row to put the Nittany Lions ahead 11-6. Those were seven of Pickett's 25 points in the victory. We came out this game really focused on, you know, setting screens, being physical, boxing out, and, you know, making people play our game. So um, Coach Shrewsbury is a great motivator, a um, great coach, and we're just going to keep getting better. Penn State and Michigan went back and forth up until Jet Howard buried another three-pointer, this time to put the Wolverines within one at 31-30. Howard was one of the Wolverines' lone bright spots, scoring 21 points. However, he could not help his team avoid the 18-0 run that came after his three. Pickett, Andrew Funk, and Seth Londy combined for 66 points in eight of the Nittany Lions three-pointers, including many big shots during that run. Defensively, it was Hen doing everything he could do to hold Michigan's big man Hunter Dickinson to just six points. I mean, we just, as I said earlier, we just came together with our defense. There was a lot of emphasis defensively the last couple of days. You know, sure was calling us soft in the media, whatever it was. We tightened some stuff up today. The Nittany Lions pulled ahead 49-32 going into halftime, and it was more of the same after the break. The Blue and White extended its lead to 32 points midway through the second, and Penn State pulled off the 22-point victory, 83-61. The Nittany Lions travel to West Lafayette to face number one Purdue on Wednesday.